Well, look at this beautiful lake here. We can go on this lake. We can surf on the lake. But are we going to surf on the lake? Well, we are, but we're going to go right off. So, well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players. That was a weird intro, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we defeated Cyrus for the final time, and we also tried to catch Giratina in an Ultra Ball. Didn't really work out. I had a really big freak out. And we eventually had to catch him in the Master Ball. In this episode, we are going to be flying all the way back to Sand Gem Town. And as you see, um, uh, most of my Pokemon are dead. But luckily, you can still use Fly when your Pokemon are dead. So let's fly from Send Off Spring all the way back to Sand Gem Town. Because we actually have to talk to Professor Rowan after we do this. In Diamond and Pearl, you don't have to since you already talked to him after it because you don't go in the distortion world, but, well, first, let's go into the Pokemon Center. I forgot that we do need to heal. I was thinking there was a mistake going in here, but I remembered, whoa, we actually do need to go in here because we do need to heal up our Pokemon. And also, it'd probably be a good idea to get Weed out of the box because, you know, Weed hasn't had any fighting action for, like, three episodes, I believe now. Maybe even four. I don't even know if it fought in the episode before that. So let's get Weed out of this PC. Just because, you know, BB's PC... No, 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 no. Okay, whatever. Let's deposit this Pokemon. I never usually press the deposit button. I usually go to move and just do that, but I guess I'm just going to do this and then withdraw. And we're going to withdraw Weed into that part. Okay. I might switch around my Pokemon a little bit later, like put some in the front, put some in the back, like uh, probably Shocker, because Shocker is a little bit high leveled now. And also, I also want to get Dracor close to evolving, because Dracor will evolve soon, but now let's go into this lab and see what Professor Rowan has to say. Juttle, you've come back! You, you'll leave me speechless. You've done it. You really have done it. Never has my heart pounded this hard for so long in my 60 years of living. The professor did a lot of checking up after you left. He was really worried about you, Juttle. He, con he contacted acquaintances looking for help, and... Juttle, I'm glad to see you safe. Welcome back. Oh yes, there was something I had to tell you. The three Pokemon of the Lakes appear to have returned to their homes. So, tell me, what are... How are you things good... That... So tell me, how are things going for you? Well, you know, it's been going good. I haven't recorded in a few days. Gonna upload this the same day I record. Maybe I'll record more than one at... Dang it, there's a bug flying by my mouth. The Pokedex. Hmm, a total of 165. And the number of badges? Well, you've got seven already. That only leaves Sunny Shores Gym. Hmm, you've come this far. Why not obtain Sunny Shores badge? Well... I've been trying to contain, like, obtain all the badges from the beginning, but okay. And why not challenge the Pokemon League? That will broaden your horizons further than ever before. Well, I wanted... I, I was planning to challenge the Pokemon League in the first place, Rowan. Jeez. Not to mention the opportunities to meet every more poke, even more Pokemon. Well, I wasn't even trying to meet Pokemon. I'm just trying to go through this. But now, that will actually make it so we can go from that one place in Pastoria and go all the way to Sunny Shore City. So, uh, let's... Wait, wait, why did I go out? I wasn't even in the fly mode yet. I thought I was gonna fly, so... Actually, yes, let's keep Dracor out front, and let's put Weed out front here. Because Weed... Well, actually, no, they're all 45 on the right side, so it really doesn't matter. Only a few are 47, 46, and why am I running? Because, ugh, running all the way to that city is gonna be a little bit tough, so let's actually... Uh, actually, let's go to Jubilife City quickly. I just remembered that there is pro I think there's an app you can get after you beat the 7th gym. So let's quickly go to the Poketch app store and let's get that app. I'm pretty sure this is the last app you can get from the Poketch guy in that Poketch building in Poketch City. Even though this place is known as Jubilife City. And whoa, 4 minutes of just running around already, dang. But going in here, let's talk to Mr. Professor Guy and let's get- well, not Professor, but whatever. Hi hi! I'm the president of the- okay, we already read this, and he developed another one, and we get the move tester, which is what- which is actually the last move you can get from this guy, because, like I said, you get, uh, new Poketch- why did I say move? You get new Poketch apps for every w one, three, five, and seven gym badges, so, <clears throat> four out of the eight badges you can get, and be right back. Sorry about that, I had to cough, but now, let's actually- yeah, let's fly out. I was going to check the lottery thing to see if I can actually get something from the lottery, but- now, actually, let's just do that. I know I'm wasting time, but knowing me, I'm probably going to win. And if I don't win, I'm just going to cut back out here. Oh, whoa, God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. 
I actually won. <laughs> I actually won. Oh, what is? What did I get? To, okay, the last digit match, so you get the fourth prize, and we obtained the Ultra Ball. Oh God, I was. See, this is why I went into the lottery. Oh yeah, this is also the studio thing. I don't think I actually showed it off. There's like three or four levels to it, but oh my God, I actually won something. Thank you, Dracor. Thank you. Now let's fly out of here, and let's finally fly all the way to Pastoria City. Now you could fly to Pastoria, you could fly to Veilstone. I personally think flying to Pastoria is a tiny bit faster, and also you don't have to run into any, like, many wild Pokemon, whereas the Veilstone route, there are many chances you can actually run into wild Pokemon on that route. And I believe I don't need really anything else to help me or anything, I believe I have enough Hyper Potions to last, so let's actually keep going on to this sad music. No, now thinking of it, I believe my Pokedex is too higher than it should be because I actually ran into a few wild Pokemon on my way back because I think I, I don't know if I said this, but on the way back when I, before I went to the Distortion World, I remembered I need to get Ultra Balls and Pokeballs and Great Balls and stuff. So I got some of that stuff and, well, I actually ran into two new Pokemon, which it was, I believe, a Bronzong and an Absol, which I was surprised about. At, ooh, Pokeballs here. We can actually get some items because now we have Rock Climb. And, okay, we have to go up here. Oh my goodness, I keep getting sidetracked by stuff because I see things we can do. And then I'm like, whoa, oh, I forgot, can't, can't even do that. Okay, ne never mind. Let's just, let's just uh, run away from this area like it never happened. And now, if we go up here, wait, do we need cut to get anything up here? And, uh, no, I think we do need cut to get something up there. But now, we are in this new route, which is Route 220, no. That's to go back there, but we are in a new route, a new place. Finally, we're on our way to get the 8th Gym Badge and hopefully beat this game. I need to escape these doldrum- doldrums? Whatever. As you're going to be seeing, that was a level 45 Luxor. Yes, the Pokemon are really going to be getting that tough now. And now I remembered actually getting these berries that when I went to the, that, that one Pal Pad, Pal Park area, I believe, I actually forgot some berries there. Now, am I going to go back and get those? Actually, no, because I do not want to go on that water route again, so sorry. It's going to be all the berries in Sinnoh except for that, which, honestly, I really think you don't care. It's just something I thought of, because, you know, I thought, let's make this LP interesting. Let's go and get every single berry we can. I never actually had to use a berry yet, but you know, I might have to use it eventually, in some way or aspect. Okay, this makes it actually good that I can actually use Lafion now, so let's switch out to Mr. Okay, this one is a Mr. Uh, when I was editing through that last episode, oh my god, I said Mr. Flygal or Mr. No, Mr. Shocker instead of Mrs. Shocker, jeez. Now we have a lot of water people to fight. Fishermen be crazy with all those water type moves they have, and now we have another fisherman. Okay, that Gyarados is stupid. It used Rain Dance after I tried using Thunder, making Thunder always hit. So Thunder, he basically screwed himself over. Oh my goodness, dang. And look, another Water Trainer. I'll give him one thing, he actually used some strategy, he used a train, blah, 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 blah. he used a U-turn to train, or, to trade, crap, what am I trying to think, 
I'm think I was saying to trade Pokemon, but to switch Pokemon, that's what I'm thinking. And one last fisherman, jeez. <laughs> Please be that the last fisherman, and there's a trainer there. I forgot if you run by trainers, that happens. Listen, listen, can you tell me what kind of Pokemon you have? No. I really want Weed to grow a level, but he hasn't been in a... I don't, e I don't even want to battle that guy, okay? We're going to be going up here and facing the other trainers on this route, and whoa... 18 minutes on the recording time already, and most of them by fighting these dang fishermen. And the last time I'm fighting fishermen, jeez, that took forever. And you are a fighter anyways. And that's the social etiquette of eating a meal, because I saw she said eating a meal, so I'm thinking, is that social etiquette to eat a meal? Let's fight. <laughs> I hate Pokemon that can make other Pokemon infatuated in love. I mean, seriously, you don't need to do that, okay? I don't like Pokemon getting infatuated, because then it makes it all worse, and the Pokemon are worse in battling, and then, ugh, it's a good strategy on their part, but I just don't like it, you know? I don't like that, and, uh, who should I start out with on this fight? Let's actually bring, let's actually bring this, no... Let's bring this guy out here. No one us, he's probably, this rich guy's probably gonna have an electric type, so we're probably gonna be screwed on this fight, but you know, Scrooge never, or maybe, maybe we're going to do something here. And we get the move Fling, I believe. Okay, I thought you were a fighter. I thought you were a fighter, young one, but I guess you are not a fighter. You are not a fighter at all. And I believe, oh, we're going to be getting into some uh, battles here with a double battle. I believe these guys have water types, so... I'm just going to be switching it out just a little bit to bring Weed out front with Flygal, which is definitely a weird combo for water types. Well, not the Weed part, but I just want to fight these guys both head-on, full-fledged fighting with full power and full responsibility and full power and stuff. <laughs> I can honestly say that I didn't know you could get paralyzed from bounce. Now, before we fight this guy, well, actually, yes, before we fight this guy, let's unparalyze Weed, because Weed is a little bit paralyzed. So let's go down to our full heals, because I believe we still have some full heals. Yes, we do. Because I like buying the full heals, because it just heals everything. It's just a lot more... It's a lot easier to do it, and it's probably cheaper than to do with the other stuff. But I want to show you this one area. The Pokemon... No, the Pikachu fan club, not the Pokemon fan club. If we go in here... So many Pikachus. I believe there's actually six Pikachus, and this guy will be saying that he's going to be going on and trying to fight the whole Elite Four with Pikachus. Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a different kind of strategy, but okay, I'll, whatever. And now we have this man right here. What are you going to be fighting with? My dream's a big one. I want to battle every kind of Pokemon from around the world. Well, okay.
Now that we're finally done with all the battles except for one on this route, we are going to be going to Sunny Shore City in the next episode. So, in the next episode, well, actually, well, that's probably for this episode, let's play Pokemon Platinum. Uh, the commentary feels a little bit scattered because most of it was just battles in this fight, because yes, lots and lots of battles on that route, but in the next episode, in the Let's Play Pokemon Platinum, we are going to be going into Sunny Shore City and seeing if we can challenge the 8th Gym Leader and finally start going on to the Pokemon League. So this has been Plays saying see you later and goodbye.